So for this video, the question is asking us to use the rational zeros theorem to list all the possible zeros of the polynomial function. So we just need to list all the possible zeros. And the way that we do that is by using this little mini formula, p over q, where p represents the constant of the function, typically the last term of the function, and q represents the leading coefficient. So, uh, taking a look at our function, f of x is equal to 6x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2. So, for our function, p is going to be 2, right, since that is our constant for our function here. And q is going to be 6, since that is our leading coefficient here. And what we're going to do is we need to list all the factors of these two numbers here. So we need to list all the factors of 2, and we need to list all the factors of 6. So if we list all the factors of 2, there's not that many of them, all the factors of 2 would just be what are all the numbers that multiply to get 2. Well, the only way to get 2 is 1 times 2. So taking a look at 6 now, we need to list all the possible factors of 6. The only way to get 6 is 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. That's it. All right. So what we then need to do after this is we need to make a list using every number in the numerator and putting it over every number in the denominator. So what that would look like, starting with 1, we put 1 over 1, which is just 1. Then we do 1 over 2. 1 over 3, 1 over 6, and do the same thing with 2. 2 over 1, which is just 2. 2 over 2, which is just 1. 2 over 3, and then 2 over 6, which actually just gets reduced to 1 third. Alright, so you don't need to list any doubles, so I can see here that 1 was listed twice, so we can mark that one out. We already had one-third, so we don't need that. So our possible zeros are one, one-half, one-third, one-sixth, uh, two, and then two-thirds. And it's going to be the positive and the negative uh, variations of each one of these. So it's plus or minus one, plus or minus one-half, plus or minus one-third, and so on. So this list right over here, represents all the possible zeros of the function that we have. All right, so just take p over q, find all the factors of those, and then write them in all the variations that they can be written. Otherwise, that's it for this video.